On the 19th day of tip, Miss Jake brings to you... What's up guys, it's Jake here, and today I've kind of got a tip slash theory video, so this is going to be a little bit different than what we've seen so far on 25 Tips of Christmas. But today, what I want to talk about is the theory slash tip that if you pack a punch a gun while playing survival or transit more than once, you actually will increase your percentage or chance of getting drops from killing zombies. Now this is something that I have not only noticed myself when playing Black Ops 2 Zombies, but also something that I've seen a lot of on different types of Black Ops 2 Zombies forums. A lot of people have believed and uh, thought and just discussed the fact that, you know, if you actually pack punch a gun more than once, it seems like you're getting more drops when you're killing the zombies. Like, for each kill you're getting, you're not. it's not like you're getting extra drops, it's just you're getting more when you're killing the zombies, so you have a better percentage or a better chance of getting a drop once these zombies are dead. So let's say you have 500 zombies, and without a pack punch gun, you may be getting 6 drops from them, but with a pack punch gun, you may be getting 8. So it's not like it's some massive difference, but you know, it's definitely noticeable when you're playing Black Ops 2 Zombies. So I kind of thought about this, and I, I did. it was something I noticed at the beginning of Black Ops 2. I did definitely mention it to my friends while we were playing. I was like, do you notice that it feels like we're getting more drops with these guns pack-punched? And my, me and my friends all agreed, but I figured it was just us not noticing really because it was new. The game was brand new. I think this was like the day after the game came out, and I kind of just ignored it. But I was doing a little surfing on the Black Ops 2 Zombies forums to see what people are looking at and uh, discussing. And this was one of those topics, so it kind of brought that memory back up in my head. And I decided to do a little experiment. So I played a game, and I went ahead and got to round 20 with no pack punch guns. And I noticed that I got a de decent amount of drops like I normally would, but it wasn't anything special. And then I went ahead and played another game, and I tried to pack punch a gun as soon as possible. And I did pack punch the gun multiple times, not like that was going to increase my chances, but I did do that just in case anyone's wondering. And it was definitely a noticeable amount of more drops that were being dropped while playing. So I'm not sure if this is something that just happened to be coincidence, or if I really am getting more drops with pack punch guns. It was a big difference. It wasn't double, but it definitely was more than like three-fourths. So, I mean, it was a lot more drops, I could say. It wasn't like it was 5 to 10, but it was like a 5 to 8 scale. Obviously, it was much more than that, but um, that's kind of the kind of range it was in. It really wasn't like some huge difference, but it was definitely noticeable to where it would really increase your zombies killing efficiency, and it would really help you out if you ever needed a max ammo or just an insta-kill or a kaboom or anything like that to just, you know, get through the rounds a little bit faster. So I do feel that this is something that is in the game and meant to be there, but I'm not sure if it's just me getting a massive coincidence and all these people finding it on the forums or as well kind of having this happen to them, or if it's really something that's true. So I want to ask you guys a huge favor. Why don't you go ahead and play a few games of zombies? Doesn't matter what round you get to, but try and play a full game without pack punching any guns, and then try and play another game and feel free to pack punch whatever you want, however many times you want. And tell me if you notice a difference. I surely notice a difference, and I'm not sure again if it was a coincidence or just something that randomly happened, or if it was really meant to be put in the game by Treyarch. So I need you guys to do a little bit of detective work and tell me what you think. I really hope this isn't actually something that's in the game and meant to be there, because if so, it is absolutely awesome, and therefore this will be a tip video. If not, this is just a theory that really doesn't mean anything. So, go ahead and correct me, or stand by my factual info, or stand by my theory in the comment section below by testing it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'd love you to smash that like button as much as possible and really share this. I want as many people to know about this as possible because I really believe that it, this is something that's in the game. Again, go ahead and try it for yourself and tell me what you think. Peace out, guys.